Scorpio, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so... Um, King of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse. So feeling a lack of inspiration towards creation, taking control, taking the command, and just moving forward with your life. Scorpio, what this is insinuating is that there's too many attachments going on. Okay, so we are energy beings, so everything that we have around us is energy. You always want to make sure that you have good energy around you. If you have any type of fear or attachment to outcome, that kind of energy connected to us just like siphons anxiety into us, right? So like sometimes we think we're doing something totally wrong over here, but it's actually we're good to go. We just have some other energy connection over here, right? And it's pulling at us, but we're because our focus is here, but we're being pulled here. We're like, this is wrong. You know, we keep trying to fix this, but really we're just like being pulled in a different direction. Does that make sense? And so it's really important to understand that when you go through um, energies that don't, you know feel like that sting, that feel challenging for you, you've really got to focus and pay attention to the things in life that you love. And the reason being is because the more time you spend in a, uh, you, you focus on something that leaves you feeling joy and love, and you put your focus into it, you, you um, receive that energy back. It's like reciprocated, right? So you're feeling this energy, you're getting that energy pumped back from doing the things that you love. And then those things that, that are pulling at you that were giving you anxiety before, they can't really get to you because you're elevating your, your uh, frequency. When your frequency is so high, you don't even, you look at things differently, right? The, the things that might have bothered you before or created anxiety before, you might have been attached to before, yeah, you, you can't even be bothered by them because you're in such a high place. You're like, it's, it's almost petty, you know? You almost look at it as petty because you're like, well, why would I spend my time focusing on this? You know what I mean? So something that can really help in this situation when we are attached to energies is cleaning our space, vacuuming, you know, washing the windows, dusting, cleaning all the bedding, organizing things. I know it seems like it doesn't connect, but it actually does. Um, it, it really is just about getting the energy moving, pivoting your energy. It's always about pivoting energy. So your affirmation for the day is, I'm only trapped by my illusion, right? You're only trapped by your illusion because it really is an illusion because it's just energy, right? Everything is just energy. You have the power to create the world and the life that you live. It really is yours to create. That's the best part. We all get to create this fantastic life, but we gotta be aware about what it is that we wanna, what we wanna create. And we gotta also be aware of what kind of energy we want around us. I'm gonna give you an example right here, right now. This is the energy I want around me. Oh, look at this. Oh, what? What is this? Ooh. Right? I used to have one. Susie Q. This is, how you have, this is how you have to hold. If you have a wiener dog, you gotta know. You gotta hold him by the front feet. You gotta tuck him in your pit, right? And this is how you hold him. You walk him around, right? So, anyways, I have this energy around me. I recently found it when I was out uh, shopping and I was like, that is a hell yes, baby. So now I keep her with me. Um, I, again, I used to have one and uh, she uh, lives with my mom now. It was just a better situation and her and my mom are like peas and carrots. So it was just beautiful. Um, but the memories we shared together are, uh, they will never leave my heart. So um, she's with me now and um, in the best way because I don't have to take her outside. So ha. So win-win. But anyway, I digress. So at the end of the day, it's about having the right energy around you. And if so there's an energy in your life that doesn't feel like you want to you want it to connect, you want to connect with it, then don't focus on it, beautiful soul. Don't focus on it. Because if you do, you're gonna feel that energy. You gotta focus on, again, the things that bring you joy, the things that make you feel really good, and then that way your energy, your frequency will increase, and the thing that didn't make you feel good before, but you didn't know how to fix it, right? All of a sudden, you'll have the answers. All of a sudden, you'll have the clarity. All of a sudden, your energy, will you'll know what to do, right? But you won't know what to do if you focus on the thing that you wanna fix. Does that make sense? So you gotta focus on the good energy, and good energy will flow through your body, and from that good energetic place, you will be able to transfer it into whatever it is you wanna create, fix, shape, mold, whatever it is, right? You'll have the answers for it. And we can see here that this, this is gonna all take place. And again, you are always gonna get to where you wanna go to, Scorpio, it's just a matter of time. And it's just a matter of consistency. So that nine of pentacles 
indicates that you're on, you're on the right journey. That Ace of Pentacles in reverse is letting you know that you can't get there by forcing it. You can't get there through greed and you can't get there through, you know, um, you know, efforting it, right? It's a natural organic transition. And all you have to do right now is focus on the areas of life that bring you joy, that bring you love. You got to be loyal to what it is that you love and you got to really know what that is for you. And so that means you're going to want to, again, spend time with yourself doing things that you think you might like, even if there's a little bit of fear attached, you got to go and try it because it, you'll never know unless you try. It might be the best, greatest thing in the world that you've been holding back, you know, who knows? Um, but you just kind of got to go and, uh, and, and experience for your life for, uh, you got to experience life. Um, for, for yourself, right? And just really connect to the beauty, the things that you find beautiful, the things that you f find exciting, the things that light up your spirit, the things that bring you joy, because that's what we are here for. That's the whole point of this thing. That's the whole purpose of this thing, right? One thing we'll tell you is that if you have a relationship in your life and you are living with this person and you do not have an energetically sound connection, um, you want to understand that that is something in your life that you're going to want to um, pay attention to because that's a big energy, right? And if you're sharing your life with someone and there's an energy in your life and you're not getting along, well, that person needs your support. That person needs your guidance. That person needs your whatever gifts that you are specifically good at because we all have specific gifts. If you tell yourself you're not, that's where you got to check yourself because that's a limiting belief. We all are incarnated here with specific gifts um, that we have chosen. Um, and so we, and we, we choose the mate that we are with or the partner that we are with, um, with the knowing that we are good at specific gifts. They are good at specific gifts and we must come together with communication to, uh, to match those gifts, right? It's about coming together and, and puzzle piecing it together, right? You got to come together, but that's, you're going to have to go through the limiting beliefs that were created and the practices that were, that were practiced of this person's not good for me, or I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, or we don't get along, or we don't see eye to eye. All that stuff is limiting beliefs. It's not your truth, right? And so that's if you're with somebody, if you're wanting to be with somebody and you haven't yet attracted them into your life, well, beautiful soul, it's because you're not practicing enough on the things that you love. That's got to be your focus, right? You might be too attached and connected to this ideology of, of, of what love should be like, of how a relationship should feel like, right? Based upon Hollywood and based upon what you might have seen. Um, we want you to understand that your Hollywood fairy tale is always going to come in a package that you probably would have least expected. You're going to get everything you want, though. You just got to let go of the con. You got to let go of. You got to let go of when and who and how and, and, and the, and the what you got to let go of all of that. Cause that's an attachment to the energy. Right. And again, it's really, right now it's really about just staying focused on, um, where your intention is, where your, uh, yeah, where your, um, focus is going because now here we have the seven of swords. This is always about wearing a mask. The seven of swords is about wearing a mask and standing true to yourself and staying and staying, um, true to who you are and what you want. Now, if I was in an energy, a frequency that wasn't my own and I was looking to attract a mate in, um, I'm going to be attracting in somebody that I'm not going to get along with for a very long term. At first, it might be fun because it's new energy and all new, all new energy is fun and exciting. So you tell yourself that this is it. This is the one for me. And then what happens, right? A couple weeks goes by. They say something. You say something. You're irritated. You can't believe it. How dare you? And you, you end up splitting up and then you, you say, see, I'm never going to find a relationship. I'm, I'm never good enough. Things are never going to go my way. But again, beautiful soul going back, right? I'm only trapped by my illusion. That's an illusion. It's always an understanding of learning of what frequency am I in? It doesn't matter what happens in your life. What matters is what energy are you attracting into your life? And if it's not an energy that resonates with you, then beautiful soul, that means that you have got to change your frequency. That's it. It's the simplest way to do it. It's the simplest way to explain it. And in order to change your frequency, it means you got to stop focusing on the areas of life that don't feel like they're going well for you. And you have to focus on the areas of life that do feel like they're going well for you. The things that feel good, it's about your well being. That's all. And when you focus on those things, very soon you're going to become de detached from this concept that, you know, love has to look like this and it's got to be like this right now. And I'm not okay. You're going to have to let go of all of that and just trust in the process, trust in the process. But most importantly, make sure that you are living your life the way that you want to live it. Um, and with the seven of swords coming up, it's really important that you, you know, don't get misled. Um, speaking of misled, here we are. Don't be misled from the universe, right? Universe says when fear speaks, it's always wrong. Unless being chased by wildebeest 
And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Game on the universe. So it's love. You know what love is. You know what it feels like. It's bouncy and it's fun and it's light. It's like see-through. It's like, it's so, um, you just feel like a kid, you know? You just feel excited. You want to share things. You want to be open, right? And that's, that's our true state. And that's what love is. So when it doesn't feel like this, if you're forcing something, if you're trying to make something happen, right? You can feel it. You're just like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So don't try to fix it. Don't try to make it better from the frequency that you're in. It won't get better, right? Instead, you're going to want to clear away that energy that might've been practiced in of attachment, attachment to love going your way, attachment to attracting the specific love in whatever, whatever, whenever all of it is just attachment. You want to be again, going with the flow and you really want to be uh, in the flow of your heart. And that's, it might be time to just clean up your space you know, clean up your energy, um, and, and release those attachments and, uh, and, and then everything else you'll see it. You'll see it much clearer when that frequency rises up. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.